Hi, in this video I'm going to use three ASUS wireless routers and create a whole home Wi-Fi system but once with the help of ASUS AI Mesh system and once with the help of access point and repeater features and then I'm gonna do some tests so we can better understand the performance and the behavior of each system. But before we start, I just need to point out that this video is gonna make much more sense if you have already watched my previous videos about ASUS AI Mesh and Repeater. I'm gonna add the links to those videos in the video description and please feel free to watch them first if you haven't and then continue here so we can make sure we are on the same page. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the AI Mesh system. First of all, if you remember in my video that I tested my AI mesh system, I actually complained that my AI mesh node would go down every now and then and I had to physically reboot the device so it can come back online. But a few months and a few firmware updates later, I can confirm now that the problem is not happening anymore, which is good and shows whatever was causing the problem must be resolved. Also, as you can see in my network diagram, the AI Mesh node number 1 is directly connected to the primary router with an Ethernet cable. The node number 2, on the other hand, is connected using the wireless network. But unfortunately, I cannot tell whether it is directly connected to the primary router or maybe through the node number 1. Because here it only tells me that it is connected, but how it is connected, I don't know. I just wish there was a network diagram here for the AI Mesh system that would give me more information on how things are connected. It can actually come in really handy when there are more than two wireless routers in the system. And the only way that I could finally find my answer was in the wireless logs where I can only see the MAC address of the node number 1 as a connected device, but not the other one. So it basically tells me that node number 2 is connected through node number 1. In this test I have connected one laptop with an Ethernet cable to the AI Mesh node number 2 and I'm also running a continuous ping on the laptop to 8.8.8.8 .8 to test the internet connection. So what I'm gonna do is to disconnect the cable between the primary router and node number 1 and see what happens to the internet connection as they switch to the wireless network. And then I'm going to turn off node number 1 and see what happens to the pings as node number 2 will try to connect directly to the primary router. In this test, I'm actually going to use iPerf to run a few speed tests. I will use two laptops and each time we'll connect them to different nodes with Ethernet cables and then run a speed test between the laptops. In this test, I'm going to do what I actually did in my previous AI Mesh roaming test. Basically, I'm gonna walk around the house with my laptop and test the internet connection and the quality of a Skype call as I roam between the wireless routers. 
but this time there are actually three wireless routers whereas in the previous video there were only two. Okay, so this was the AI mesh system, and if I want to compare this test with the one that I did a few months ago, I should say that I got more or less similar results in the speed test and also in the roaming test. And the biggest improvement that I can see is that the AI mesh nodes seem to be more stable than before. This could be maybe an improvement in the firmware which is good. However, there is still something that I think is missing and it is in the AI mesh user interface. I just wish there was more information available for the connected nodes, maybe a network diagram or something that can show me how they are actually connected. Ok so now let's begin the access point and repeater test. For this test I did not move the wireless routers, I only changed the operation modes for the node number 1 and 2. Node number 1 is now an access point and connected with an ethernet cable to the primary router. Node number 2 is now a repeater and connected to the access point using the 2.4 GHz wireless network. I have configured all of them to have the same SSID names and passwords, so it would be similar to the AI mesh system. However, unlike the AI mesh system, the access point can broadcast on channels that are different from the primary router. This is good because it prevents any interference between the access point and the primary router. The repeater's case though is a little bit different. If the repeater is connected to the access point using the 2.4 GHz network on channel 3, then it can only use the same channel to rebroadcast the 2.4 GHz network. The reason for that is because a wireless router can only use one channel at the same time for each frequency band. It is already using channel 3 to connect to the access point, so it can only use the same channel to rebroadcast the 2.4 GHz network. If I were to use the 5 GHz network to connect the repeater to the access point, then the repeater's 5 GHz network would be on the same channel as the access point. The self-healing is not really a big thing here. If I disconnect the access point cable, then everything will go down until I reconnect the cable myself. However, if the access point itself goes down, then the repeater should try to connect to the primary router, because these two have the same SSID names and passwords. So at first when I did similar speed tests here, I was getting slower results compared to the ones I got in the AI mesh system. For example in this test which is all across my wireless routers, in the AI mesh system I got maximum 347 megabit per second. But when I switched to the access point and repeater, when the repeater was connected using the 2.4 GHz network, I got maximum 91 megabit per second. And when it was connected using the 5 GHz network, the maximum speed I got was 245 megabit per second. So I did a little bit of a side survey and realized the channels that the access point was using was kind of congested and crowded in my area. So I actually tried the least crowded channels and did the speed test again. 
I got the best results when I used the channel 44 for the 5 GHz network and was able to reach 447 megabit per second, which was even faster than what I got in the AI mesh system. The same situation happened here. When I wanted to test the roaming, at first I did not change the router's location. I had just changed their operation mode from the AI mesh to the access point and repeater. So with this setup, the roaming was not successful. For example, here I'm very close to the repeater, but the laptop is still connected to the primary router and doesn't want to switch to the repeater. The only way that my laptop switched to the repeater was when I was close to the repeater and turned its Wi-Fi off and on again. This actually tells me that the AI mesh system somehow enhances the roaming process. If you remember in my previous video when I did a roaming test in my AI mesh system, the only thing that I actually changed was the roaming assistant option and I had a very good roaming experience. But in the repeater and access point mode, in addition to that, I had to change the transmit power and also move the wireless routers until I found a good spot for them. This actually was necessary because before that there was too much overlap between the wireless networks. Now after making all those changes, I have more or less the same roaming experience as I had in the AI mesh system, which is good. Ok guys, that was pretty much it. I hope you found this video useful. Basically I tried to highlight the similarities and differences of each system by doing some tests. The purpose was not to say maybe this one is good or that one is bad because they both have their own advantages and disadvantages. I am for example one of those people who prefers to have more manual control over the wireless router so I would prefer the access point and the repeater features. But the good thing about AI Mesh is that it is very easy and if I don't want to deal with more advanced technical stuff then I can use AI Mesh system. Also maybe if you have ASUS wireless routers that they don't support AI Mesh but they actually have the access point and repeater features, you know that you can use the access point and repeater features and set up a system which is very similar to the AI Mesh system. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please like this video if you liked it. Share it if you think others might like it too. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you again and I see you next time.